Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Benkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, um, I hope you have been following my Istio series uh, and in this video we are going to look at uh, request routing based on HTTP headers. So as I told in my previous video, when a request is coming from a specific person or from a specific browser agent or whatever you want to match on the HTTP header, you can do that. So I'm going to be showing that from the YAML, uh, from one of the sample YAML files that Istio has provided and uh, also on the Kiali web interface. So I've got a cluster installed uh, with a cluster Kubernetes in Docker kind and I've installed Helm. I've deployed Helm and Tiller and I've also deployed Metal LB for load balancing. So if you want to follow along this video, please start from the first video of the Istio uh, series which is like four videos before and this is my fifth video I think and uh, to get a good understanding start from the first video if you jump into any of any particular video you basically won't be able to understand much because I'll be going through the commands very quickly because I've explained them in my previous videos so in this video I've got the cluster I've got helm I've got metal LB I've deployed Istio I've deployed uh, a sample book info application. I've deployed Grafana. I've also deployed Kiali web interface. So this is an extension to the previous video where I've shown you how to split the traffic between multiple versions of microservice. So in this video, let's look at how to route the traffic to a specific version based on uh, values from the HTTP headers. Okay, so um, Istio, so go into the downloaded directory where you've got the samples here and the command is curl minus l and pass that to shell and that will download istio and the istio binary as well so i'm inside that directory and uh, i've all i'm also running uh, the this watch command watch curl so my sample book info application is up and running and if i show you that 172.17.0200 is my Metal LB load balancer external IP and I'm looking at the product page. So our product page sample book info application is up and running and I can quickly show you the pods, kubectl, get pods. So those are the pods for the different microservices. kubectl minus n STO system uh, get Pods. So these are the various pods. I've got Kiali, Grafana, Prometheus, and various Istio components installed as well. So our sample book info application is running. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to port forward so that we can look at uh, Kiali web interface. All right. Okay. So um, the file is vi samples book info networking uh, I think it's test now uh, virtual service reviews test version 2 I think it's this one virtual service reviews test v2.yaml yep so that's the file uh, which we are going to apply now so what it says is it we are deploying a virtual service and say for the reviews microservice if the HTTP header uh, for the end user matches JSON, then route the traffic to version 2 of the reviews microservice. Otherwise, route all the traffic to version 1. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, port forward the Kiali pod. kubectl minus n istio system. Port forward Kiali 20001 20001. Okay, so let's log into the Kiali web interface. Local host colon 20,001. Okay, so that's our web interface. Traffic for the last one minute, no traffic because I just started the curl command to generate some traffic. For applications, let's look at the dashboard graph. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's look at the graph here. And I'm going to enable the edge label to show the request percentage, how much percentage is uh, being routed to what microservices. Display, I'm going to enable traffic animation so we can see where the traffic is actually going. So this is the default uh, sample book info application that sends traffic to all the versions of the 
reviews microservice right so now our aim is to redirect the traffic to version 1 if a user JSON logs into uh, this book info application or website so that's what we are going to do now okay first let me show you how to do that on the web oh, sorry on the command line by updating the manifest by uh, editing or submitting the manifest so that's the manifest file Cool. and it's in the samples directory book info networking virtual service reviews test version 2.yaml so let's go ahead and apply that so but before that if I go to sample book info application I'm going to I'm not logged in as any user so let's refresh it for a few times so black red black red uh, no reviews black red and it's kind of round robin going through all the versions of the reviews microservice v1 v2 and v3 so that's the default behavior and we are going to apply this manifest kubectl create minus f and the above file okay so that virtual service is now created and again I'm going to come back here and keep refreshing okay so still I can see reviews. Uh, let me go back to Kiali console. Yes. Okay. So traffic is 45% of the traffic is going to V1, 25% is to V2, and V3, 14%. So what have I done? Let's go back and check what did we apply? Virtual service reviews test V2 okay so header matches JSON ah, I see okay so I was a bit confused okay so according to this one all the traffic so we're not worried about version v3 at all so this virtual service says uh, direct all the traffic to version 1 of the reviews microservice unless user JSON logs in if user JSON logs in go to reviews version v2 which is all black stars okay so now it makes sense and if I look at here and uh, all the traffic 100% of the traffic is going to v1 because in our curl command we're not passing any uh, HTTP header so it's a basic traffic and it's hitting this destination version v1 and if we log in as JSON the HTTP header will contain the end user and the value as JSON and it will redirect us to the version 2 which means all black stars let's verify that okay so at the moment 100% traffic going to v1 no traffic is going to v2 we haven't defined v3 as a destination so it's just v1 or v2 v1 for general traffic and v2 for user JSON okay I'm gonna go back to the uh, book info application so every time I refresh it's going to show me no reviews because it's uh, going to the version 1 of the reviews microservice so if I keep refreshing for a few times you can see it's always shows no reviews which means it's showing me version 1 so let me log in as JSON user JSON sorry JSON and password can be any password sign in okay so once I signed in so I'm now JSON and as you can see here all black stars which means the traffic is going to version 2 of the microservice so if I keep refreshing I'm refreshing it many times and every single time you see black stars which means all the traffic if I'm logged in as JSON is going to version 2 of the microservice so now we can see here traffic is going to version 2 and 97% is going to uh, version 1 that's from our curl command and if I log out of JSON you can see here it's back to version 1 because you don't see any reviews if I keep refreshing yep you always see version 1 of the microservice reviews okay so if I log in as somebody else let's try for example Venkatian random password and still you see version 1 of the reviews microservice because you don't see any ratings because our um, match rule is only if it matches user JSON it will be routing the traffic to version 2 otherwise all the traffic will be routed to version 1 cool okay right so that's how you do it from uh, the manifest let's see how we can do it from the Kiali web interface so for that I'm going to delete the existing rule 
where am I? Okay, so let's delete it. kubectl delete minus f and the above file. Okay, so that's deleted. So now we should be getting requests to all the three virtual services v1, v2, and v3. Let's verify that. Okay, let me sign out. I'm going to keep refreshing it. Yep. I'm getting all the versions, v1, v2, and v3, and in here, let's refresh. Yep, so we are back to normal. So the traffic is being routed to all the versions, v1, v2, and v3. So now, how would you do that from the Kiali web interface? Okay, so I'm going to click, click reviews, and I'm going to click on this link here on the right, actions, delete all traffic routing, yep and I'm going to create a matching routing, create matching routing. Okay, so matches, header, URI, so there are various uh, things that you can match for URI scheme method, whether it's a post or a get method or anything, authority, and value, exact, prefix, regex, or anything. Routes to v1, v2, and v3. Okay, so let's take a look, and before that, let me look at how it was done in the YAML file. So match header, the value is in the user and it's JSON. Okay, let's do that header. So I'm gonna match, I'm gonna check the header for end the user and the value is JSON. Is it end user? End dash user, yep. End dash user and if it matches JSON, matching selected match any request add match okay so that's the matching selected and if it matches i want to redirect the traffic to let's say v3 this time so add rule matches header end user exact json reviews v3 okay let's create that creator let's go back to graph Okay, so at the moment, it's sending traffic to all the three versions, I believe. Yep. Okay, so the default traffic is going to v1, v2, and v3. And let's say here, if I press F5, if I refresh it, error fetching product reviews. Sorry, product reviews are currently available for this book. Okay, that's because... Um, I made a mistake. Come back here and then select the reviews page. Click on the reviews. We have to add a matching rule because we have defined update matching routing. So we've defined that uh, when it matches the end user exact JSON, we want to route it to v3, but we didn't define what if it didn't matches. What's the default rule? Okay, the default rule is this one, add rule. So here you can say, okay, let me remove that. Version one, version two, version three, add rule. Okay, so now it makes sense, right? So all the traffic, any request should go to version one of the app. And if it matches JSON, and if JSON logs in, then the, the traffic should be routed to version three. Okay, so update. And now we should be able to see refresh, refresh, and you can see because of the error here, uh, you get all these red boxes. Okay, let's refresh the page. Okay, cool. So now we are logged in and we have been directed to the version one. And if I keep refreshing, you just get version one all the time because you're not logged in as JSON. And let's try and log in as JSON. JSON password can be anything. Sign in. Cool, so we are seeing the version three because it's all red stars. And if I keep refreshing, you always see the red stars because we have logged in as user JSON and we have a matching rule. So whenever user JSON logs in or whenever the HTTP header uh, contains JSON for the end user value, uh, then redirect the traffic to version 3 of the microservice. So it doesn't matter how many times I refresh, I'm going to end up looking at the same red stars.
for version 3. And if I sign out, I'm back to version 1. If I refresh, always I see version 1. And if I log in as any other user, link it in, sign in, I will still see the version 1 of the app. So that's how it works. So now our graph is back to normal. So sorry, I kind of messed it up a little while. So reviews, and then click on this reviews, action, update match routing. So you have to have two matches. So one match is what if a match occurs, where the, where the traffic should be routed, and the default route. What if it doesn't match, what the default traffic should be routed to, and so on. Okay, cool. Um, I think I should have prepare this video beforehand. Um, I was just trying it uh, live on this video. That's why I had a little bit of confusion. But I hope you got something at the end. Um, if you've got any questions or any doubts, please let me know. And if I'm, if you think that I'm doing something wrong, also please let me know. I will try to correct myself or um, upload a follow-up video and so on. Thank you so much for your time watching this video and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please share it with your friends. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.